Hey, what's going on? My name is Marcos Rocha. I'm a director of photography based out of the San Francisco Bay Area. And in this video, I want to show you how to set up the EL Zone false color on Atomos monitors. I have here the Ninja Ultra, which uh, does support the EL Zone. Just be aware that uh, the EL Zone is not available for all Atomos monitor. Uh, sorry, Atomos monitors. I have the Ninja 5, and I did the firmware update, but it doesn't work on that one. It's, it's not an option to use the EL Zone. Uh, but if you do have the Ninja Ultra or the newer Atomos monitors, you should get access to it. You should have access to it. So I'm using here the Red V Raptor and I'm going to walk you through how to set it up and all that good stuff. Uh, the steps are pretty straightforward. It should work with other camera manufacturers. So you can essentially pick what you learn from here and, and uh, learn the workflow and what needs to be output to the monitor in order to work. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So here's a Ninja Ultra. The first thing you have to do is output a raw flat profile from your camera into the monitor. Right now you're looking at the, this is a LUT I applied. So first we go into our camera here, I'm gonna use the red control app. You can also do this in camera, but for just for faster and ease of uh, just showing you how it works, I'm gonna use the red control app. So I'm connected to the red Raptor. I go to these three bars right there. And if you look at uh, this, this output, it's already set to red, white, gamut, RGB. Uh, by default, it's set to Rec. 709. That's the camera converts the flat profile into a Rec. 709. So you don't want that. Uh, you want that to be red, gamut, RGB, done. And also the SDI-1 look because this monitor is receiving the signal from SDI-1. You want that to be RWG log 3G10. And remember that, log 3G10 you don't want the image LUT to be outputted into the monitor. So those are the two things that need to be set before you get into the monitor. All right, so now we have that. Let's go back to our monitor. First things first, we set the profile here on the monitor, left click on the, in the corner, and top corner, and it brings up this menu. You wanna to go to input, make sure the camera output log HDR is turned on, and you wanna select the camera you're using. And this, uh, in this instance, we're using the red. So if you double click here, you have Fujifilm, Nikon, Ccam, Olympus, all these different cameras. So just make sure you select the correct camera depending on what you're using. We're using the camera, it's a red, gamma, it's log 3G10, if you remember, and the gamut is red, white gamut. Just make sure it's not G12. Okay, and detect, this is something different. I did say red, red, but uh, this is what matters, the camera output. It needs to match in order for you to get correct processing. Otherwise, um, the EL zone will be vastly different if you don't have this correct. Okay, the next thing we do is hit the settings tool here, you see there, and you scroll over to false color. You wanna make sure that EL zone is selected, I already have it here. You don't want Atomos or Ari, it's EL zone, that's what we want. Next thing, you can either apply your own LUT, or if you go to monitor, you can just use uh, the Rec. 709, what's built in. You see there, it's a pretty good job. I think what it's doing is grabbing the profile we set, which is red, and it's applying its own S curve and color to, to give us a Rec. 709 image. I think that's what it's doing. If you select native there, you see you're looking at the flat profile. There's no conversion because that's what the camera is giving us, a, a flat profile. So that's why you need to apply your own LUT or use what's built in here, the Rec. 709. If I select my own LUT, you see it's less contrasty. This is something I found online. I have links to it on, in the description if you wanna download this LUT. What you do need is an SSD like I have here. If you go back to LUTs, you see here there's different LUTs already applied. Uh, this is the SSD that's in the back of the monitor and you drop the LUT into the SSD that goes into the, the Ninja here. And if you wanna load in a new LUT, let's select number seven. This is a flat, there's nothing preloaded into number seven. So we hit this folder. The, here's the red LUT kit, double click. And we're gonna select this one, RWG, Lock 3 g 10 Rec. 709, medium contrast, double click. It's loading the LUT. And now there it is. Number, it's you're previewing a lot. I downloaded it from the internet. Again, I have links to it in the description if you want to download these 
conversion lights for your red cameras. And it's a pretty good job, right? So back to monitor, you see there, I'm looking at the LUT as opposed to the Rex L09 here, which is more contrasty. You can also go ahead and use the Rex L09 that's built in. It's much faster and it's also looking pretty good. It does feel a little too crunchy though. And if I show you, uh, if we turn on the EL zone, here it is, This it's this person here that's in contrast, um, half lit, half not. You see that? And there it is. Oh, did we select the wrong one? I think we accidentally put Ari. There's, there it is, it's the EL zone. That's what we wanna look at. And monitor, we're looking at the Rec. 709. You see there, now here's the, the diagram with all the stops. That way you can quickly see where you land. And we're not really clipping. And so you, if you uncheck the false colors, I mean, it kind of looks like we're clipping here on the corner, but we're not. That's why you want to check your false colors. Uh, that's why I prefer to use my own LUT because it's not as contrasty and I can see details in the highlights. That's why um, I would go with downloading this LUT because otherwise, if you use what's built in here, the Rec. 709, um, well, it's fine now, but, oh, no, that's H HLG. The Rec. 709 looks like it, the, the highlights there are getting blown out. So I would just use the LUT, in my opinion. And it is monitoring the flat profile because if we look, the LUT's turned on, um, but I guess it turns it off when you hit the false colors icon, which is that one right there. Because if I were to go back to monitor and hit select native, native is no LUT applied. You see that? That's a flat profile. There's nothing no LUT being applied and the false colors is staying the same whether I have the native or the LUT applied, the false colors, the EL zone false color stays the same. So it's telling you it's, it's, um, it's monitoring the image using the flat profile, not on top of the LUT, which is great. It's what we want. So when you uncheck it, there it is. It goes back to our Rec. 709 image, which is uh, the LUT we applied here. You see there, the LUT. So there you have it. That's how you set up the EL zone false colors on your Atomos monitor. I know you might have questions, so please go ask away down in the comment section. Also, you know, if I mention any links, they'll be in the description. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.